Hey everybody, thanks for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to be talking about uh, my new setup for EDC, specifically the holster and pistol combination that I am using. I'm going to give you my initial thoughts. This is completely un unscripted. Uh, I'm trying to do this in one take for you guys and we'll go from there. Realistically though, I also wanted to take a brief second here to talk about what is going on with your EDC setup. A lot of people automatically think, you know, a good firearm and a good holster and you're good to go. And that is true. However, there are some other aspects that you might want to keep in mind when you're out and about concealed carrying. First and foremost, in my humble opinion, one of the most important aspects that you should always keep in the forefront of your mind is communication. Effective communication is going to do so many different things in your daily life. Not only is it going to potentially get you out of a situation by being able to defuse a potentially violent encounter, uh, it can also do things like get help to where you need it as quickly as possible and allow you to direct traffic for people around you as well. So communication is huge. The second thing is if you are going to carry a firearm, obviously you need to know how to make holes, right? So training is also a big component to this, but you should also have the training and the gear to be able to plug holes as well. Regardless if that is the individual who uh, has been coming after you uh, or putting you in a very precarious situations where you need to defend yourself, but also anyone around you to include yourself. So medical equipment, metal, medical training are very important as well. In some cases, a firearm may not necessarily be uh, the tool to use in a defensive situation. So I like to keep a pokey poke with me, uh, some type of good knife. Uh, and it's a utilitarian tool. You can use it for not only defense of yourself, but you can use it for a host of other things as well, just in a daily life type situation. And then finally, while I have a light mounted to my firearm, I also carry a handheld light as well. I am not going to search for things in the dark utilizing my pistol because that is going to break one of the fundamental firearm safety rules, you know, Never point your firearm at something unless you're prepared to destroy it. So things to consider. Now, one other thing you might want to consider as well is if someone is with you, if you, it's your significant other, your partner, your spouse, whatever the case may be, uh, do they know what to do if there is a situation where you need to defend yourself? Do they know who to call? Do they know how to call them? Do they know what to say? Do they know how to guide them to where you are. Um, if there are kids, do they know what to do with the kids? You know, those are different things that you're going to need to can take into consideration as well, if I could get that out. But that's my little rant in the concealed carry area. Um, I highly recommend training as much training as you possibly could get, but I also understand that training isn't necessary to exercise your constitutional right to defend yourself. I highly encourage it, but I do also realize that there are situations where it may not necessarily be feasible right away, right? So, okay, let's get into my newest EDC setup, and that's going to be this right here. Uh, this is going to be the holster from LES Concealment. It is the Ronin L 3.0 and it is obviously a light bearing sidecar type of holster which is the design that i really really like before we get into the holster itself let's talk about the pew pews because i know that that is what most people are really interested in i'm going to do a full review on this pistol because it is my newest edc pistol that i've been carrying for a little over a month now but i don't have the round count up where i feel comfortable talking about it to you guys as of yet but this is the glock 19 gen 5 mos and i went with that because for a number of different reasons first and foremost as i have the hollow sun 507 C on here as the red dot, but should I want to change that to my RMR or look at a different red dot, I have the ability to swap those out on my EDC pistol and get some real world experience with that pistol as, or that 
red dot as well. And then I went with the Surefire X300. I went ahead and decided to go ahead and drop the coin on this light because it is realistically to a lot of people the best on the market. So if I'm going to be carrying, you know, something on me, I want it to be the best that I possibly could get to defend my life. That's just my philosophy. You guys don't have to buy into it. That's perfectly fine. But I will do a full review on that later. This is the type of design that I like. And I have gone away from the rigid design where the magazine holster and the main pistol holster is tied together with a piece of Kydex. I wanted to see what it was like to get some type of like hybrid where there is a flexible component to the two holsters. And in the three-ish weeks that I've been carrying this, that was, um, I would say probably game changing for me when it comes to the comfort level of this holster. Being able to not only have this flex forward and back, but also this way as well has given me a lot more comfort in carrying not only as I'm walking around, but riding into right in a car or, you know, bending over to tie my shoes or whatever the case may be, this has been a lot more comfortable and I really do appreciate that. Really good thick Kydex. Retention on this is good. Mine is a little bit lighter than what a lot of people do. You know, they'll take it and they'll flip it upside down and try to shake it out. Mine will fall if I do that. That's just how I do my thing. What I will say is once you have this in your appendix position and you've got that pressure from the waistband, this is going to tighten the retention up a little bit. So take that in consideration as well. Uh, I do prefer the clips here instead of the loops. Uh, that's just my preference. Uh, I like the ability to uh, be able to slide this in and clip it into my belt easier than with the loops. Instead of having to take my belt completely through the loops and you know remove my holster, I can just pry up on this and remove them. I've never had a problem with the holster coming with the pistol because of these clips, so there's that. Really nice um, concealment wing here. Uh, does a good job. Not not 100%, but it does it does a good job depending on how you've got it situated on your belt line. So uh, retention on this is easy to adjust. You've got them on the back side here, and you got it on the front side here. Obviously, just a crosshead screwdriver will handle that no problem. And then the stuff here on the center to bind both of these two together is a bungee type cordage which is good. I, I like that. I've seen others that have some type of flexible plastic that's in between here. And the reason why I like this a little bit better is because should this break, um, obviously I can reach out to LES Concealment to get a replacement, but I could also go to the hardware store and easily replace it as well. So that's kind of some of the main reasons why I kind of went with LES Concealment to check their stuff out. I'm obviously going to wear this a little bit longer uh, to give you guys kind of a more extended review of this. And we'll come back and take a look at that as well. I have other holsters that are inbound to talk about as well because I have a couple different setups depending on where I'm going. Like if I'm going to the gym, I have a specific setup for that as well. So um, some changes coming up and we'll be talking about that. Oh, um, these clips fully adjustable, uh, not only with elevation, but can't as well. So you have that ability to adjust this specifically to you. I just want to jump that in there right at the end. So, uh, so far so good. Really do enjoy this. Uh, but what are you guys carrying? What is your favorite setup for your pistol and your holster? Sound off in the comment section down below. If you guys are interested, I'll have a link to this particular holster down in the description below so you guys can check that out. The last thing that I will say is if you are going to utilize a holster such as this, not necessarily this particular one, but if you are going to run with this holster and this light setup, the X300 or even a TLR1, um, you might want to make sure that you 
get used to wearing that on a daily basis. I had to make some changes in exactly where I placed this. Normally this was going to be at the one o'clock position, um, 12, 30, one o'clock position. I've had to move it more closer to the 12 o'clock position because of the extension here from the light. So uh, just keep that in mind. You appendix guys know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> but that's going to cover it for this video. I really do appreciate you guys swinging by. Thanks so much, and as always, freedom through strength. We'll catch you guys later. Take it easy, y'all. Bye.